so I have a confession to make about this video guide. Uh, can you keep a secret? It's a confession. No. I feel dirty for making this video, and there's no amount of Tide Pods that could make me feel clean about this. Tide Pods. Katagawa Jr. is a bad guy, he's a villain in this story, but playing as Amara and doing these farming videos just feels sort of wrong. If you haven't seen my boss guide video, this is why. To an overseas investment band, it's, it's pretty insane, I know. Needless to say, this is sort of broken and the numbers are going to get pretty skewed, but with all that being said, Let's just jump into it. We do 30 runs per boss, we've collected three other sessions of playthroughs. We did a Captain Tron, a General Tron, a Tyrene, and now we're on Katagawa. So let's do some comparisons and breakdowns and see what the efficiency looks like. And I know what you're thinking, yes, of course, this is going to be our strongest farm. It's it's completely broken right now, but until Gearbox fixes this, it's, it is what it is, and let's just compare the numbers for the time being. Um, so let's jump into the meat and potatoes. 30 runs for all these different bosses, minutes per run. So General Tron 2.2, Captain Tron 1.5, Tyrene 4.4, Katagawa Jr. 0.8 of a minute per run. Exceptionally quick. So Iridium per run, we got about 8.6. It's pretty strong, pretty decent. Um, legendaries per run, 1.13. Binary legendaries, so 73% of all runs had at least one legendary drop. So pretty strong, keeps you motivated. You don't have those dry spells that you see sometimes. Anointed legendaries, 0 0.06. And then now the per hour and per minute basis. So as you guys can already see, legendaries per hour, 85 legendaries per hour. It's of course gonna be the strongest by a multiple of greater than two compared to the Captain Trot runs. And uh, it blows Tyrene and, and General Trot way out of the water. So no doubt here, it's the single best place to farm for Amara characters right now. Iridium per minute, uh, 10, that translates to about 640 per hour. Again, just about double, almost double um, what Captain Tront does for you. And, you know, many multiples beyond General Tront and Tyrene. Cash per hour, caveat here, I'm, I'm cash capped, so cash no longer matters anymore. And um, if it no longer matters to me, if I'm already hitting cash cap, then I'm sure a lot of you guys are too. And it just simply does not matter until Borderlands is fixed with some means of, of using your cash, maybe for expensive gambles or something like that. Uh, it, it just truly does not matter. So we're no longer going to be tracking that. But that being said, Katagawa is a strong place to get cash. I didn't see a single chest legendary drop at all. Something to keep in mind, I'd actually recommend just skipping it for this boss. Every other run, you have the eligibility to go and grab those two red chests in the back room. Now, if you look at this plotted out, we only hit one lull stretch. So this is the cumulative sum of legendaries. And we had a dry stretch from run 13, or sorry, from run 10 to run 13. And uh, we, we picked it up from there a bit, but just know that that is possible. So keep your head up if you're farming. Same token, we had uh, Iridium per run. Fairly linear, also saw a similar slowdown between run 9 and 14, and then it picked back up. Now what dropped? We saw a lot of guns, 44% guns, uh, were, of the legendaries that dropped, 44% were guns, 6 were class mods, 5 were artifacts, 4 were grenade mods, 3 were shields, and 1 was a skin. So pretty interesting, I feel like we got a lot of class mods, it might be because of the event going on, it might not TBD on that. Now for what actually dropped, we saw three Nimbus class mods drop, two rocket boot artifacts, and here's something really cool is the, uh, there was the Roizen Thorns. Uh, this gun is the gun that has the roses on it and it shoots out in a rose pattern. It's, it's a really fun gun to have and this is definitely a spot to come get it. I've seen many drop in, in undocumented runs as well. We saw two ASMDs drop. A storm sniper drop, which is pretty bad, honestly, and a firestorm, I believe it's called. I know that drops here as well. Didn't see it in these runs, but I know for a fact it's part of the loot pool. Um, other than that, we have these world drops: jackhammers, elementalists, Nagata, Lyuda dropped, which is nice to see. Flood, a duck, some more class mods in here. A crossroads drop for us as well. Always good to see those. A foursome dropped. Other than that, 
The only other interesting thing was a loaded dice drop tier. It's been a while since I've seen a loaded dice drop, and Katagawa did drop one for us. Let's dive in the in-game footage. As for the in-game loot, scrolling through here now, we got uh, some interesting things, some crossroads, a duck, flood, some ASMDs, both anointed, uh, pretty, pretty odd, both of them are anointed. We got storms, we got these uh, Roizen's thorns, two of them, one of them came from a separate run, and then a few other guns here, we got a foursome, a Layuda, a Widowmaker, just a bunch of random stuff. Uh, this Lionage. So all of these are great, all these are interesting. The Crossroads is the only gun that I think I'll use permanently. The Layuda I got wasn't better than the one I have, but if you don't have these guns in the first place or looking for other things, this is definitely a decent spot to go. That's all for this video. It's a quick video. Katagawa Jr. is the single best farm right now for Amara characters. There's not much more to say about that than, than simply go farm her and get everything you can out of her while you can because it's, it's simply broken. Thank you.